Okay, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a request video on just how to program an ABS module on a Ford vehicle. Now, the first thing you're going to need is the IDS software and, of course, the VCM package. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and launch the IDS software. And get that going here. And then at this point, once the IDS software is fully loaded up like this, we're going to plug the VCM in to the DLC port under the dash. And it may take 10 to 15 seconds for it to fully boot up and show an icon right down in this area right here in the lower right hand corner. It'll beep a few times while it boots up and establishes communication here. And almost there. Now you see the icon over here. Now we're linked to the VCM, which is the uh, communication passport between the laptop software and the vehicle's computer system and the network on the, on the vehicle. At this point, turn the key on. Okay. And we can go up to start new session, all other. And it will automatically ID the vehicle. Once it IDs the vehicle, now you may get this screen, but this is because there was previous sessions and work done on this vehicle. Um, you'll get a few questions, a few basic questions once it IDs the vehicle. And we don't have navigation. So you go ahead and you make sure everything on this left hand side here looks correct for the vehicle you're working on. And you simply hit yes. Okay, and I'll do a self test and network test on the whole network in the vehicle to see which modules are present and responding. After that, you're going to go up to the toolbox tab up here. You see that right there? And that's where all our tools are at to work on the vehicle and diagnose it. So it's very simply go down to module programming, module reprogramming, which is what you use to reflash the module to the latest level, latest software calibration, as per the Ford server. So we'll click on the ABS module. It's going to check the VIN. VIN looks good. Okay, hit enter. And then it'll tell you if there's a later calibration or not according to the Ford server. And yes, there is. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes. It will look for the file and pull it from the server if needed. Make sure your key is on and you have plenty of battery power. It's a good idea to have a battery charger or a jump pack on there. Tell you to make sure that uh, you don't turn the key off. It's going to program multiple parts of the ABS module. So until it says done, don't touch it basically. At this point, you don't want to rock the vehicle. You don't want to touch any cables. You don't want to touch anything. And all your accessories in the vehicle should be off like, you know, blower motors, headlights, rear defrost, stuff like that. So we're not drawing down the battery power or creating any or, or creating any noise on the network. You want to just talk to the ABS module, program it, and not be interrupted. Or, you, or else you could brick the module and make it you know, dead basically in essence and you have to replace it at that point because we cannot establish communication anymore. So the ABS module doesn't take too long to program. It's pretty small memory uh, area in there and it does it pretty fast, um, especially in the older vehicles. On the newer ones, it may do a couple passes on there, uh, but this one's pretty fast. Switch the ignition switch off. It allows it to power down, and then it will boot the software again on the ABS module and verify the calibration. Turn the key back on. It's going to verify. Everything looks good. Now, at this point, you hit enter once again. We're done programming the module. After programming the module, it's always a good idea because there is network DTCs that are set to go in to your self-test right here and into all continuous mem memory DTCs. Clear them all. Actually, it's going to read them first. It'll give you a list of all the DTCs there on the network from all the modules. And then at that point, you have an eraser icon over here where we can erase every one of the modules all at once. So like I said, there's a, usually a few network DTCs. The cluster's freaking out because it, it lost communication with the ABS module when it shouldn't. And of course, the RCM 
is throwing the same fault on there. So we'll clear that. Now clear every code on the vehicle all at once. Now basically after this thing's done clearing the DTCs, you turn your key off and you disconnect your VCM2 or 1, whichever you have, and you can shut down the computer, you're done. Um, in a second here, once this gets done clearing, I'm going to show you exactly how to um, program a new ABS module if you're replacing it because it's faulty, it's damaged, or otherwise. I'll show you how to do that on here. It's two different options. All right, so everything's cleared out of there, as you can see. Now, if you were replacing the ABS module, you go over to PMI, Programmable Module Installation, and what that will do is it will transfer the as-built data from the old module to the new one so it has all the correct vehicle parameters uh, built right into it. The VIN, everything gets transferred over to it. So we'll select ABS module. It already pulled the as-built data from the old one right there. It's called the inhale. We'll turn the ignition off. We'll change the module out. Okay, reconnect it all back up. Hit enter. It'll tell us to turn the key on. And at this point, it's going to configure that module with the correct as-built data for the vehicle. So that it can talk to the other modules and, of course, have the correct VIN and all the pertinent information it needs. Same thing, turn the key off. It's going to allow it to power down for a few seconds, and then we are going to check the calibration automatically on there. Like I said, it's very easy on here. Everything's pretty much automated on here. You just want to make sure you follow a few simple steps, like you don't shake the cables. You make sure you have the battery charger on the vehicle so that doesn't get too low. And when you're done, it, like I said, it's always a good idea to clear the DTCs on the network so we start fresh we make sure there's no um, false DTCs on the vehicle and that's about it so hopefully this helps hopefully this was a little bit interesting nice and quick and uh, it uh, helps you guys out if you're if you're running into this problem and you want to program or change out a module on your vehicle and you have access to this uh, this software